suppose this will be a little bit about the lit RPG stuff. I get why it's popular, so I figured I'd give it a chance with some things. I'll link a handful of them that I have read below. Most of them will prob you know, probably have a sci-fi bit, but you know, um, I figured even though most lit RPG stuff was burying my superhero prose tag, I'd at least give the genre a little bit of benefit of the doubt. Because a f handful of people I really trust on Twitter did recommend a couple interesting selections, as long as, you know, in the sci-fi vein of things. So, I guess the reason why sometimes I uh, get a little bit, uh, shall, shall we say, um, frustrated with certain genres is because, again, Amazon's tag system can be absolutely horrific in order to find what you want. Because, again, half the time people will, in order to get that coveted orange tag, they'll be like, hmm, I'll put my story about steampunk in uh, children's self-help or something like that. Or, and it's, and it's even worse when it comes to most paranormal Ikea erotica romance stuff because that's such a huge bulk of romance nowadays that it's pushing out other sub-romance books to the point where even if, say, it doesn't have anything to do with X, Y, or Z, you'll see paranormal urban fantasy in, like, um, epic fantasy, or you'll see it in, you know, space opera, when it's not really space opera, it's romance, or sub-romance erotica tag, but there's so much stuff in the sub-section erotica tag that it's broken containment. So, here we are with different genres and lit RPG just going all over the place because Amazon has yet to add, they, they need to really add more categories. Like, uh, again, erotica all by itself needs about another 10, 15 different categories because you can just take about two minutes and not even that, you'll find floating ad books everywhere. And it's like, it's like, I don't feel like reading floating ad books about dominant male shifters poking people in, in the butt or something and having some sort of epic free-for-all in various protagonist beds. It's like, that, that's, that's not my wheelhouse of fun. Um, again, if you, if you look at my blog and the rest of the stuff, I'm more like courtly Sheridan and Delenn type of romance thing, if there is it going to be any romance to be had. So, cause, or you could play some of it up, a little bit of the, the courtship stuff up for, for some humor, like, um, you know, lost in translation, like, wait, what now? What's a courtship ritual for your people? Oh, oh boy. Yeah, I'm going to have a little bit of that fun zaniness once uh, Eliza actually gets to see the Typharian side of things, <laughs> which is pretty fun. Like, there's her mother has a very, very um, covert, well, not so covert sometimes to some people, of, nope, I'm not going to train my daughter whatsoever about any kind of Typharian protocols. That's just fine. My, uh, uh, you know, poor Zach has to get some basics down, but it's going to be uh, quite a bit fun for, like, the whole, not culture shock in the sense of, like, um, completely alien, but just more like how much her mother downplayed her family's overall, like, ties to everything. Uh, Gino just wants her daughter to be, like, go to the home world and, like, just be as American as possible. And show the the stuffy houses what for, because again, Gino doesn't like the gilded cage her family's put in. So that 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 that'll be a fun storyline once I get to it. And but as far as lit RPG goes, the handful that I definitely do enjoy, like I've said before, is CJ's books. Like uh, the Twilight Paladin setup is pretty fun. I know some reviewers were like, "Oh my God." He made a ninja paladin, blah, 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 blah. It's like, have you ever heard of multi-classing? 
because I had fun doing that in Advanced Dungeons and Dragons back in the day. So, you know, that's, that's how I took that. Um, like I said, I'll link more of these below. Um, I did enjoy reading the first Derelict book. Uh, it's like a dungeon thing set up, but it's with a sci-fi bent to it, where the other you know, there's actual ship battles and stuff that'll happen. I mean, I, and I get, I see the appeal because it, it it grabs people that have mostly grown up on video games, and you know what? If that's a way that I have to get, you know, some superhero pros to get more of a limelight, then I'll p kind of mix and match and promote some of those lit RPG uh, hybrids in with traditionally made superhero pros to try and get more eyeballs on stuff. You know, because again, I got. <laughs> I kind of want to use my channel to cover not only stuff I enjoy, but try to just get more eyeballs on different various genres besides, like, everybody's top ten of... Again, even though Sanderson and stuff is fun, like, BookTube is an overabundance of young adult. It's an overabundance of, like, the, the top three or four trad pub, you know, dead tree publishers and sometimes they don't even cover all of them. They'll cover it if it seems like is this trending on Twitter type of setups. So yeah, the, with my channel I'd rather go off in a different direction. So I'll cover a smattering of all sorts of topics. But so yeah, if that's if that's what we have to go with, I, I will promote a, couple, a handful of lit RPG books that did catch my eye. I'll see you guys later.